Christ Way Church welcomes you. Let's hear what God has to say through Pastor Anu. God bless you. I am so glad to welcome you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know nothing more important in your life than your thoughts that occupy your mind on a daily basis? You need to pray trust god and stop thinking negative things and worries these things keep coming in our hearts so your thoughts not only reveal your heart they predict what is going to come your future your thoughts will predict practice to think right things according to the word of god and will of god and you will receive the promises and peace as well our subject today is take care of your inner life Matthew 6:21 Jesus said where your treasure is there your heart will also be that means you give time and attention to the things you care the most isn't it without clear priorities it is difficult to manage your time and make progress in your goals your priorities help you identify what you truly needed in your life the time that you spend the most that is the priority in your life so we have many works in a single day throughout the whole life and we give concentration to the works that we need at the most and we can determine the priorities based on where we devote most of our time and energy you can understand what is your priority daily how much time you are spending on each thing and where you are giving more time that is your priority isn't it or where your priority is there you will give more time and that is how we are in this world so someone who prioritizes their job spends most of their time working and thinking about the work and how to solve the work and how to move forward in their work and someone who prioritizes family will frequently engage in family activities so how do you think about god and godly things all the time our mind is engaged in the priorities of life isn't it if you don't have any priority we don't think about so if you think a day's work you can see what you are thinking and how you are thinking all the things and how about god and the thoughts about god are you thinking about god or how much time you are thinking about god so you might have heard many telling you should put god first in your life you should put god first in your life you might have heard this is it possible in fact we should so what does it mean to put god first to put god first is in life it is holding god as priority giving him much of our times and thoughts is it possible it is possible when you know that other than your physical life you are leading and you can see you have to live an inner life see we are all living physical life we get up in the morning we all the routines we eat we drink we breathe we will study we will have education for the knowledge we read paper the news that is around this world we have to know or the economy for all these knowledge we read paper and education we have we have a job that is how we maintain our life okay eh? that is about physical life how about inner life we have an inner life a life with god in the inner life also we have breathing we should drink we should eat we should have education we should have job we should have a shelter we should have siblings i will explain to you hmm? breathing in the physical life without breathing we cannot live in the same way for the inner life prayer is breathing prayer is like breathing bible says we need continuous breathing pray without ceasing without that kind of prayer you cannot even little how self control because life is that burdensome and to live a godly life you need lot of prayers just like if you stop breathing we will die physically in the same way if you stop continuous prayers 
you will spiritually die. Hmm? Next, drinking. Daily we drink minimum 8 glasses of water. Water is so much important for our body and the spiritual life also. For the inner life also, we need water. What is water? Jesus told those who are thirsty, come and drink from me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is water. Eh? So without water, we cannot live. In the same way, without Holy Spirit, we cannot live. Because with the strength of the Holy Spirit and leading only, we can live this inner life. So drinking, breathing, drinking. Now, eating, food. Jesus told, man shall not live by food alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So we need food, that is the word of God. We have to obey the word of God. If you don't obey the word of God and have self-control, you don't have spiritual strength. You will be weak. Hmm? So that is food. Then next is education, knowledge. You read paper, you go to school. In the physical realm, we go to school, college and we have education. How much education you have and degree, accordingly you get a job also. So what is education here? What is knowledge here? You need to spend time in studying the word of God, reading the word of God. You need a good teacher for you. God will appoint a teacher that you don't have to worry. Pastor is a teacher. God has already appointed a teacher for you. You should be a humble student. You should receive that teacher. Eh? So that is education. That is knowledge. Spiritual knowledge we need. We have all knowledge from this world. Even the simple knowledge to higher knowledge we have. To eat where we get food, where we get water or the next lane, what is available. Everything we know. Knowledge. Isn't it? In the same way. There should be knowledge in the spiritual realm, without which you cannot live. You are reading paper. Something is happening in Ganga Nagar. So they will block the roads and they will divert the road to somewhere else. You came to know. You wanted to cross Ganga Nagar and go to Majestic, but you cannot go. You came to know from the news. From where? You have read the news. Otherwise, somebody will tell you. Like that, you need connection spiritual connection and through the word of God. Next, education, knowledge, job. All of us need job. That is our livelihood. Isn't it? Everybody has to go for a job, even men and women. What is the job in this inner life? Ministry. Ministry. You need to serve others. Ministry means serve others. Help others to come closer to God. Help others to grow in righteousness. Help others to have peace and finally reach heaven. This is the job you have to do for God. Isn't it? Then you need a shelter. You need siblings. Those who are living in a rented house, they want an own house. Their aim is they want an own house. In the same way, you need a proper church. Once you are settled in your own house, you are satisfied. I have an own house. As long as you have a rented house, your mind will be, when I can have an own house? I need an own house. You will be working for an own house. In the same way, you may go to many churches. You may not be satisfied. Your soul should be satisfied. But when you get own house, the real church, you are satisfied. So you need a house, siblings, brothers and sisters. So all these we need for our inner life. So just like physical life, how you are giving importance, dear friends, give importance to your inner life. Inner life give you peace, blessings and all supernatural things from God. Hallelujah. Naturally, our relationship with God operates differently from the relationship to work and family. On an average, we work 8 to 10 hours daily to make a living and we spend time with our family and for other activities. Since our connection with God differs from these areas, putting God first means you should have in your mind that you should be engaged with other people and activities, everything like how you are maintaining your physical life. Dear friends, understand. You spend time with your family. You should spend time with 
spiritual family also. Okay. First Corinthians 10, 31 says, Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Paul is not instructing us to pray before meals, but he is instructing everything we do daily. These are the things, the daily affairs he has mentioned here. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, honor God. That means whatever you are doing from morning till the night, you are in the office, you are in the kitchen, you are at home or anywhere mingling with the family or mingling with office affairs, talking to other people, you should honor God. That means you should know, I should not speak bad words, I should not think wrong things, eh? I should behave well. I should behave with the fear of God daily. Whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So to live this inner life, you have to honor God. When a child acts to honor his father, he will always have reverential, loving thought towards his father. Isn't it? My father. He will have a respect and he will have honor. The second part of 1 Samuel 2.30, God says, I will honor those who honor me, but those who despise me, I will despise. If we don't depend upon God to live this inner life, we are despising God, we are dishonoring God. If we are not depending upon God to live a spiritual life, a life with God, living a life with self-control, we are despising God. God is telling, I will despise you. Hallelujah. When we give respect to God in our mind, we give him priority in our thoughts, in our thoughts and in our actions, we will be very careful. I told you, priorities. You do the things that are important for you. You will prioritize your work in a day. If you want to play, you will think, I have to go and play or watch something in the YouTube or meet with the people, that is your priority. Eh? You will think and work in kitchen, whatever. In the same way, the way you think and act, you should have a thinking. Today, I should not speak false words. Myself should be under control. So, in short, giving God first in your life means we give importance to our inner life, so that we can maintain our inner life daily. We will practice to have his perfect peace. When we are giving importance to inner life, we will practice to have peace. Finally, what we want? Peace. If you are studying or working, finally, what do you want? You want to eat good food. You want to sleep. You want peace at home. Isn't it? That's why you are working. The same way in the inner life. If you are working, if you are prospering in your inner life, you will have peace. That is your achievement. If you are prospering in your physical life, you will say that you have good education, you have a good position, you have a good job, you are earning well. All that give you a sort of satisfaction. I have achieved something in my life. I have an own house. Isn't it? In the same way, if you are giving importance to your spiritual life and if you are growing in your spiritual life, what you have, what is your achievement? You are content. You are content with everything. You have an own house. You got a good church. And you are earning well. You are doing good ministry. Please understand. You are working. So you have enough money. Duddu, duddu, duddu. Duddu bekantre kelsa maatle beku. Sumne mane ili malkondre dud barala. Alva, adhe tara. Ministry maadikoli yelleru. Don't live for yourself. Live for others. Pray for others every day. When you are doing ministry, when you are serving God, what you will get? You get strength, more grace and many other blessings. But if you are not doing me, 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 you don't get anything from God. You will not get strength. You don't get any blessing, supernatural blessing you will not get from God. Please understand. If you are giving so much importance, for the work of this world, yes, you have to physically, you need a work spiritually. Please do God's work. Chumma don't sit and pray with a booty. God, give me, give me, give me, give me. 
like the people who don't work they will go to all the relatives and ask nanage duddilla kelsa illa solpa dud kottu sahaya madbeku our own family members will come to us no they will not work hmm? they can't go and work they see that enough money is in our house they will come and ask or some buggers when you see they are so healthy we will only tell why can't they go and work in the same way dear believers understand sir god if you don't serve god you don't get strength to move on you don't get grace more and more you don't get supernatural blessings from god how many of you are not working spiritually think right now you may be working in the physical world earning money money and you want if it is not there you will be applying and you are waiting that should be your aim to serve god without which one day you will definitely leave god and go away hallelujah so practice to how his perfect peace philippians 4 7 says casting all our anxiety to god when we face with adversity we trust god and start obeying his words throughout our day and we will be mindful for self control we will practice not to retaliate in our flesh our flesh will be always under control if you are living an inner life if you are prospering in your inner life self will be always under control thoughts as well as actions hallelujah prover 4 23 24 say keep your heart with all vigilance for from it flows the springs of life keep your heart our life your life whether you are a christian or not your life has to come from your heart if your heart is good you will have peace if you have peace you will give peace to others if you are a troublesome person you will trouble everyone you know that na maneyle troublesome children or somebody will be there why their life is troublesome they don't have peace those who have peace will give peace to others so don't trouble children or husbands or wives don't trouble each other don't trouble give peace you will get peace we are called to have peace and we are called to be peacemakers so keep your heart with all vigilance from it flows the springs of life put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you so heart is the master control of our life our heart gives life just like our physical heart gives life to the physical body spiritual heart gives spiritual life our life the sign of spiritual life is peace joy contentment understand if you are not living a spiritual life you don't have peace you don't have contentment even if you have everything you are not satisfied you are always grumbling murmuring for what is lacking in your life but if you are living an inner life you will see what great things god has done in your life and you keep praising god and keep walking in god's ways so a wrong heart that is ungodly heart always produces a wrong life wrong life means please understand you don't have peace when you don't have peace you will never give peace to anyone please write it and see if you have peace you are a peacemaker you will try to see that you will give peace to others you will have self control you don't fight with others hallelujah there is an old computer proverb you may be knowing that is gigo garbage in and garbage out i don't know whether that is there right now garbage in and garbage out that means whatever the program you give in give in and give out whatever the program you give it to the computer that will it will produce isn't it that gigo word is there for this new generation i don't know when i was learning computer those days we learned these words gigo in the same way what we are feeding in our mind that is how our life will be if you are always negative criticizing people grumbling murmuring you think nothing is going to be changed or nothing good is going to happen that is what is going to be after some time that is what is you are going to receive but you are trusting god as yes, today i have problem and problems are there in our life but i will control i will suffer i will dedicate my life eh control then you get peace so you have decided you have submitted your thoughts are that 
that is what you are feeling yes i will live a self controlled life i need peace i will forgive the people i will not be angry eh? you will be deciding deciding that is every day's life that is why we read in proverb 4:23 we should guard our heart we should guard our heart how do you guard your heart from your wrong thoughts so be careful how you think because the thinking result in actions so control your thoughts with the word of god condition of our heart will affect everything else in our life we need to guard our hearts to guard our heart means to protect our heart from all evil thought guard your heart bible is telling guard your heart it's very important guard your heart because evil thoughts negativity worries disappointments keep coming in our heart you should trust god pray and replace those wrong thoughts with the right thoughts so you should recognize the importance of guarding your heart keep filling your heart with opposite of your negative and evil thoughts and attitude when you put god first in your life or if you are living an inner life you will never be indifferent in what you are thinking you should purposely think the right things according to the word of god this is very important because Jeremiah 17:10 says I the Lord search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his deeds our thoughts god is watching hmm? so your thought god is watching so don't have the evil thoughts when you are living an inner life you will always control your thoughts hallelujah proverb 4:24 says put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you we should be very careful about what we speak in our adversity other time we will be very sweet people when a problem comes we can't tolerate the problem and we can't tolerate the people so all angry words will come out from our mouth so we are commanded to put aside falsehood angry words corrupt talk bitter words slander malice especially in our adversity ephesians 4 25 through 31 and colossians 3 8 apostle james writes about the power of our tongue he is telling be careful one tongue it's a small part in your mouth but it is like a fire that is attached to the hell james 3 6 tongue is a small member of our body but it has potential to corrupt all other parts of the body please be careful what you are talking you are defiling your body you are provoking other people to defile others body please understand i told you daily you will read newspaper you sent your children for education you want your children to be educated or you are an educated person you know that education is very important you know that news has to be read and we should know the current news in the same way study the word be a student come regularly to church and church meetings listen the uploaded messages of your pastor you have to keep hearing how many of you are hearing i don't know that's the reason many of you are lacking knowledge that's the reason you are not living with the fear of god so tongue is a small member of our body it has potential to corrupt all other parts of our bodies uncontrolled tongue is deadly poison proverb 4:24 says keep away from crooked speech that means we should not speak deceitfully we should use our tongue from evil talk we should not be lying we should not use angry words all these will come my dear friends that is how we are practiced in this world to live an inner life you need lot of practice when do you practice you are very busy your priorities are something else if you have priority for your inner life only you will do all this if you don't have priority for your inner life you hardly read the bible or just some people will come to the church they think they are doing something for god or something for pastor one big favor they are doing some people think that putting god first in their life means go to church services or little pray or oh, today i prayed that is not the spiritual life you should understand so all this you should know how we are talking so you should keep reading 
James third chapter then you will understand he is telling James is telling in 9 and 10th verses we will curse people we will abuse people we will criticize people with the same mouth praising god hallelujah hallelujah praising god with all good words you are good you are good you are always good 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 hmm? after all this worship or before the worship you might have abused and had a big fight at home or previous night or you are going to do the same the rest of the life hmm? that should not happen james is telling so we should not use our tongue for evil purposes you should understand it should be used for only good purposes how difficult it is you should read today james third chapter you can tame anything but not tongue even a very fast horse you can tame bible is telling you cannot tame your tongue very difficult you need lot of practice to control your tongue hallelujah so let us understand putting god first means we are caring and looking after our inner life we give god priority in our life ecclesiastes 1213 we read fear god and keep his commands for this is the whole duty of a man when we put god first in our life when we give priority to our inner life you will pray that i will obey god and live today you will pray i told you prayer is our breathing oxygen the moment you stop breathing you will die you cannot hold your nose for a longer time you will die isn't it in the same way i don't know how many of you are praying that prayer when you go out of station and all you will forget your prayer you are going to die you are going to die this is the reason i will tell more than 3 days you should not go but that also you will not believe hmm? because when you are mingling with your relatives and all other friends you will forget everything naturally if you have a habit of minimum i told you 10% of your 24 hours is for god if you have a habit of giving 2 hours 40 minutes and more anywhere you go you will breathe you will breathe eh? otherwise no people will mock at me if i tell don't go more than 3 days somewhere out of station people don't believe hmm? hallelujah how difficult to control our tongue how difficult to have self control with the people's talk eh hallelujah you hear many gossips so we give priority to our obedient life to god we give priority to live a self control life we will bear fruit of spirit and we will be profitable servants if you are living an inner life if you are not living an inner life you will not do any ministry to god that is the reason you are weak day by day no strength because you are not getting anything from god you are not getting wages from god hallelujah so to such a life to care about our inner life we have to buy all these materials we have to buy from god in the physical life to live other than breathing everything we have to buy from this world clothing food items everything isn't it eh or in your house everything is there are you self sufficient nobody everything we have to buy clothes everything hmm? same way all these materials to live a spiritual life inner life you have to buy from god isaiah 55 1 god is telling those who are thirsty come and buy from me so if you are thirsty of this inner life you will definitely spend time with the word of god you will hear my messages you will meditate everything you will do i told you 2 hours 40 minutes did you practice are you practicing you are telling that it's very difficult i am not getting time you will get you can even in the workplace also little time you can read the bible you can close your eyes and pray and bless the people in the workplace also you can call and somebody and encourage if you want if you don't want you find difficulty for everything you will tell i don't have time who is the loser my dear believer if you don't go for work dotte iruvadilla maneyalli kelsekke hogi kelsekke hogi eh thalli bidtarilla neevu adhe thara neevu thallri nimmanna spiritual kelsekke hogodikke nimmane evarnanna thallbeku 
ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಲ್ಲಿ ಡೂಯ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಟು ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಪುಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಹೀಬ್ರೂಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ವೇಬರಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಫೇತ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫೆಲೋಶಿಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೀವರ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿರ್ ದಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ಟ್ ಸಂಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಿಬ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ day of rest or a recreation that is for worldly people who have no knowledge about god your first priority is come to church come to church you need to get the manna from your pastor hmm? how fellowship don't run away how fellowship give something to someone and take something from others it is very important many of you just drink the coffee and run away that is not for church all these things you may feel it difficult but to have an inner life you need so exodus 28 lord said remember sabbath day keep it holy jesus introduced himself as the lord of sabbath matthew 12 8 mark 2 28 and luke 6 5 that means he is telling i am the lord of sabbath sabbath was originally instituted to give man rest from his labor jesus came to provide rest for our mind that means peace for our mind to have peace for our mind we have to work where work out our salvation with fear and trembling you need word of god you need encouragement from each other and pastor eh you need strength you need to be refreshed so when you come to church and when you are mingling with each other when you have fellowship with each other you will get all this those who are not mingling with others you will not get any strength i don't know why many of you are living away from the family many children are like that they don't like to be in the family isn't it they want to go away they are all adopting the foreign system once you are mature i am independent my son is independent he is staying he is working and staying somewhere for many parents that's the feather on the cap hmm? because they cannot adjust with the parents they want independence so they will go in the same way many of you you are not mingling with each other because you cannot gel with the family members so somehow it's a something you are doing for god or for pastor or for your family members somehow you will come and sit on the chair and go away afterwards no connection you cannot live your inner life please understand hebrews 10 24 and 25 state don't neglect the fellowship as it is the habit of some you have to attend all the church services you have to have fellowship because your soul need fellowship your soul needs fellowship through the fellowship you will be fed you will be strengthened and you will be encouraged all this knowledge when i am giving from where i am giving i am a graduate or i have a good degree in the spiritual knowledge you will respect the people who are coming from great university such and such person is coming which university you know a pastor who is trained from god's university nobody give worth nobody respect or nobody give value even if they give any advice no that is not required hmm? hallelujah that's the reason proverb 3 5 through 8 state trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight that means when you don't give god first priority in your life you will lean on your understanding and your understanding will lead you to crooked ways and you will have hanging hands and weak knees as hebrews 12 12 says we have learned that do not lean on your understanding how do you change your understanding be educated in the spiritual realm study the word come to the church and all the bible classes be a student under 
and learn to pastor teacher god appointed teacher he has got a degree from heaven don't degrade such teachers and go in your understanding hmm? if you are doing that you will always be living with hanging hands and weak knees so one of the consequences of not putting god first in your life is you feel lost out of place in this world you will always feel something you are missing out you will be tensed worried fearful panic with every problem and you will always have in your heart or your heart will be filled with bitterness unforgiveness worries revenge jealousy hmm? all these are filled in your heart they are believers then you are not giving priority to your inner life you are only giving priority to your physical life your life will be a tragedy go home and read romans 2 9 through 11 if you are giving only priority to your physical life your life will be full of tragedies hallelujah so when you decide to put god first in your life with all of your heart your soul will prosper your soul will prosper your joy and peace will increase you will have good health as third john 1 2 says you will have perfect health you don't have to waste your money for doctor when when your soul prosper when will your soul prosper when you give priority to your inner life as you are giving priority to your physical life you are all giving priority to your physical life i know nobody is sleeping in your house from morning till evening either you are working or those who are not working they are working in the kitchen and you are keeping your house so neat so somewhere you are working but for us i'll be somewhere i'll be somewhere working for you anywhere you are you are going out of station there you should work for god can you otherwise don't go you are going to kill yourself you should practice to do that anywhere you are you should have spiritual breathing hmm? don't come and a pastor who gives you advice like this if a well learned person gives you physical advice from a good university you will take it you will note it down but when a pastor gives you don't you will ignore so sadly even for most believers in christ god has a small place in their life they feel as though they do a great favor attending every church meeting on sundays even praying a little or group prayer over that is their spiritual life even most of the believers are not caring their inner life as a result they live with conflict in their heart they give conflict to others so today after hearing this message check how is your inner life and give importance to your inner life let's close our eyes in prayers mm-hmm.